Alright guys, right now there's a fire truck outside and they just um they went inside of a house. I don't know what's happening next. But that house, I know the people there and it's this old man, so hopefully he didn't die anything bad like that. Um I was riding my bike so I could have like gotten ran over from it. Um the fire truck. There's the um house they went into. So I'm gonna go right in that door. I hope nothing's wrong. But he came down from there when I was riding my uh, bike. And uh, one came from the passenger seat over to talk to the driver. And like two or three came out. I think they're like medics. They came out as well. Um, there's like always police over there. Not always, but like I don't know what's going on over there. And then. Um, yeah, so there's a fire truck right out there. My phone was not on, so um, I was kind of worried that I wouldn't get this on video because there's some crazy things that happen. Like there's a there's two dogs over there. Um, when I was riding my bike, then they're about to like run me down. They started running at me. They went like 10, 20, or maybe 30 feet all the way down there. So I ran inside. <laughs> and then uh, the another time I was going over to ride on the sidewalk and there was like two or three policemen talking to her, like stuff like that. So I'm waiting on the result over here. I might just ride my bike here. It's a half broken mountain bike. Um, I've had for about two and a half years. So good luck with this. Um, so yeah, they're, I'm waiting for them to come out, maybe. I'm, I'm, I'm worried. What if that old person... Like, I, I don't really hear much about the house, but what if that there was, like, old person, stuff like that? Yeah, so... The, the fire truck is on a different view. Yeah, really cool. But I don't know if it's gonna be cool as what the result is from him coming in. I'm riding with one hand, which is my non-dominant hand, which is my left hand. So that's also dangerous, especially coming onto a um a road like this. That fire truck could move, so I don't want to get too close. And also, if it's an emergency, I don't want to get too close. Oh, definitely don't want to get in trouble either. Um, so yeah. Yeah. So they're, um, they're coming out. doesn't look like they were, um, like, it doesn't look like anyone was hurt. It's also confusing of why they're there, but crazy exper experience. <sighs> that house, like, over in those bushes, there's, like, wild cats. And that's also crazy. I actually got a cat to come to me. And, um, he tried, uh, inviting me and attacking me, so that didn't go so well. And, uh, yeah, there they go. Hasta la vista, whatever that is. Um, so yeah, hopefully everyone was okay. Uh, it was a short time in there, no lights on, so. Yeah, it's, like, it's, I, I barely see any buses or anything coming down here. I saw a school bus coming down here. I saw a police car a few times. One of the times um, a police car was coming was when I hit a tree and then he stopped and just waited there like for a minute or two or maybe three. Just standing at the corner or just like there. It looks like it's, it's to me, like everyone gets confused at this corner. They're either staring at me like, what the heck? Who's this guy's parents? Why is he 
riding a bike something. He looks 10. Wow. And I only got a bike when I was four. Whoopsie daisy. Wait. No, I was uh, 15. See, so yeah, people always stay there for like five minutes and turn around slowly. So sometimes I think they're actually just um, like people trying to attack me or something. Sometimes. This one kid got out of the car, looked at me, got went in, went into the car, drove about three or four yards, stopped, and then went full speed. Full speed. So yeah, this was the interesting vlog of the firemen uh, at my house. The fire truck at my house. Like at the street, like literally a few yards away from me. Two million yards, I don't know. Um, yeah, that was awesome. Bye.